I've been trading the same exact way since I posted my first YouTube video. Zero DTE, five wide verticals on SPX. I love the way I trade, so I don't seek to change it much. Sometimes I sprinkle other strategies over top, but the meat of what I do is always the same. A couple of weeks ago, I went on my Instagram and asked my followers to share with me other day traders who they like and follow um, because I was just feeling so uninspired as a creator, like as someone who comes on here on social media and talks about what they trade. I just feel like I've been saying the same thing over and over again for years, just feeling so bored. <laughs> And so I'll put on the screen some of the suggestions they made. Maybe you recognize some of them. And yeah, just watching their content, I don't know if it inspired me. I just like had a moment of self-discovery. I don't know, just I felt out of place. Like, why am nothing like any of these people? And is it just because I'm boring? Is what I trade so boring? I don't know. If I sound like I'm complaining, I'm not. It's just as a person who shares their trades on Discord and on Instagram, it just doesn't really make for exciting content. And I feel like we're a generation of instant gratification, short attention span, gimme, gimme, gimme type of consumers and traders. So I've just been contemplating like, is good is trading, trading slow, slow trading? trading if you clicked on this thumbnail maybe you're interested in a boring trade maybe good trading is boring can be boring let me share with you a very boring zero dt if this is the first video of mine that you're watching then like i just mentioned SPX, zero DTE, five wide verticals or credit spreads is my jam and what I've been trading for many, many years. Um, but what does that even mean? If you are trading same day expiring contracts, then timing is everything. And how I time my entries is based solely on the opening range. And I have made a many, many a video on how exactly I trade the opening range. I will link them, link some of them in the comment section below. I go over them live, step by step, and I'm pretty confident it's one of the easiest zero DTE strategies you may ever come across. And if you've been searching the term zero DTE here on YouTube, I don't think the word easy is ever next to it. So instead of going over how I trade it, I'm just going to go over my results um, year to date. It is May 31st, 2023. I think I have to add my trade from this morning to the spreadsheet. So let's do that. All right, really quickly, every morning I mark off the high and the low of the opening range. And those two price levels are my only triggers, my only opportunities to trade this particular strategy. Um, I call whichever level breaks first, the first breakout, and whichever level breaks second, the second breakout. I have, this is just a spreadsheet of the second breakout. So I separated the two trades. Um, there is a significantly lower amount of occurrences of the second breakout. Like sometimes we only get a breakout of one level. Sometimes we get a breakout of no levels. There have been days like that. Anyways, so, this spreadsheet, I've, I'm pretty sure I've tracked or tried to trade every single second breakout since the beginning of the year. And I have recorded 53 occurrences. 
I don't know if that seems like a lot, but that's not. So we're nearly six months into the year. That's only an average of eight occurrences a month. That's like not a lot. I have won 37 times. That's an 88% win rate. Here's my average time in the trade, average margin, and here is my return on that margin. So I'll pause the screen here and whatever, let you take a look at, um, or actually let me, let me add my trade from this morning. All right, so this is what my entire month of May has looked like. Um, I did not have a loser the entire month. That might be the first month that that's ever happened. Um, and I did miss one winning second breakout on May 19th. I skipped it because that was the day Jerome Powell was speaking and whatever. I'd rather just skip high risk days. All right, so feel free to pause and review. Did that update? I don't know. Listen, don't come at me for my Excel skills. So yeah, the gist of the way that I trade this is always a five wide a vertical credit spread. Um, it's one entry in, one entry out. I keep my contract sizes super small and sometimes I even have them. Like, why did I have it this day? Probably because the second breakout happened. Th this, this is Pacific time, by the way, 45 minutes before the closing bell. And I don't love being in a power hour trade, but you know, I try and trade every single one for consistency. Um, so yeah, none of this strategy is a secret. I have explained it thoroughly in the videos that I have linked below. Um, if you want, I have wrapped them all up into a nice uh, platter in a deep dive course that I'll also link below, or you can just trade it alongside me on a Discord, which I will link below. Now here's what you can't tell from my spreadsheet. I am not sitting and watching charts all day waiting for the trade to trigger. I set up an advanced order sometime in the morning, sometime after the first breakout has popped off because then I know what the second breakout level is. And I usually just walk away from it. Most days I can do that. Um, I have a video on how to do that too. Not the walking away part, but the setting up of the advanced order. If the level doesn't trigger, then there is no trade. If the level triggers, then I manage the trade. Um, and by manage, I mean I'm only doing one of two things. I am buying to close for my profit target or I am buying to close for my stop loss level. I am not um, legging out, I'm not averaging in, I'm not rolling, I'm not folding, I'm not cartwheeling. It's one entry in, one entry out. One order to open, one order to close. I just keep it super simple. I would love to read your thoughts on a boring day trading. Um, do you need to be excited to stay engaged? Do you just care about making money? Um, I don't know. I just feel like I would always choose easy over exciting, but that's me. Thank you for watching. Stay disciplined. See you on the next one.